that's the one what we harvest okay from outdoor to indoor guys <laughs> so time to cook i'm ready to cook our eggplant we can make some um tortang talong and also i'm gonna make some anchovy with tomatoes okay guys see you soon and guys from our garden we are going to make a torta but now i'm just gonna make anchovies for now two different kind i have to cook them separate because this one is like a silver fish and this one is um maliliit na bulinaw ba ang tawag niya sa atin i'm not sure what they call it this kind see small one but it's really good when you saute them with garlic and some tomatoes from our garden i cleaned it up this one is fresh also today and we have some shallots and some uh, spicy peppers from our garden. This one, guys, I slice one. I only need one. And then one of the, this one is going to be spicy just a little bit. So, okay. So, we have some fried garlic here. And we have some onion, a fried onion here. Okay. So, let's cook. Okay. Let's add some oil. This is my peanut oil. I like peanut oil. Bring that to uh, warm it up. So we put some peanut oil, guys. Peanut oil. This is just a small wok from Salad Master. Uh, okay. This one, I slice one of this to put into our anchovies. We're going to saute them. Shout out Vilma Chu. She makes some. So I went to the Korean store and grabbed me some of these anchovies and I also got the silver fish. It's really good also with your, um, this is the dried anchovies. So it's not fresh. Sometimes I buy fresh. I also have fresh in the freezer and I'll show you guys how I cook that too. This one you can make torta, talong if you want with it. And I have a lot of tomatoes here. So, and we have a squash. We're going to make some, um, some, some soup later or some vegetable fried vegetable or some sauteed vegetable or something so okay so that's what we're gonna do we're just heating up the pot oh my god i forgot to turn it on <laughs> i said why is that hot because i forgot to turn on my uh still okay what i like about i blog about this too because they have an air fryer available on this guys so you can air fry the whole lechon if you want in your oven so there you go it's heating up so let's put our, what I want to do first is put the chili so that it breaks the flavors, you know. Usually it does that, okay. I'm not going to get spicy. I like to break that first and saute them because it breaks that flavor of the spice a little bit first, okay. And guys, we are sauteing that so that it comes out that flavor. Okay, and then we're going to put some garlic. Well, that, this is a fried garlic. It's really have a lot of flavor to it. I put a lot, promise. <laughs> so, we're just gonna do that. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe not. Okay, let me put that closer. There we go. Is that close enough? Then, what we're gonna do is we're putting our shallots. seasoning and also the Chinese spice is really good it bring that Asian flavor to your cooking really a little bit strong but it's good and then black pepper okay. Side like that, right? Now we're gonna put a little bit of more of peanut oil, two tablespoons. Then we are putting this. Yeah, 
Ayan. Tapos, I need some oil to cook that. More oil. Oh, that's why I use peanut oil because I like the taste to it. It's different. Okay. Let's saute that for a little bit and then we can mix all together. Too loud, huh? That's why I want to use the um, the wooden one. Spatula. And we're going to make that different also. We're going to have some candles because it's going to be smell like, I don't want the house to smell like anchovy. We have some really nice grill later. We're going to do some grilling. We have uh, iron uh, grill outside guys that we didn't use it yet. Garden. It's really different if you have like a organic. It really makes the difference of how you cook that. Some black pepper a little bit. A little bit of peanut oil. Some people they didn't shower. Shower a lot of oil but me. I'm just gonna minimize what I add here. Okay. We're just gonna saute that in the middle first. Look at that. Yummy. The small ones, I don't put tomatoes. I just sort of saute them with garlic and uh, fried garlic and fried onion. No wheat stuff on that. I just sort of like, that's how I make my anchovy. This one is going to be, uh, take a while. I want that uh, I want that tomato to be sauteed with it and the spicy to it see not really that spicy see? some people really eat that pepper just like that but me I sort of like mix it with something okay and also we're gonna make some add we're going to add some red pepper powder okay guys because that's how I like spiciness there. It's like kimchi style. That's what I use for kimchi. So that's gonna be a little bit spicy. Okay? I'm gonna put this in camera holder now. And our rice is cooking, so... Try just a little bit. Mm. Yummy. That's a seafood bouillon. Because this one is unsalted, so I put some seasoning there. Oh my god, it smells good. It's not that bad, really. See, when the tomato is starting to break, that means good. I want that. I'm gonna call my friend. She's gonna love this. So you can even try that. Look at that. Mmm. Mm, yum. My goodness. Look at that. Filipino can relate on this. <laughs> because we really love anchovies. spice to it. 
not too spicy yet. But you can click a little bit. I can taste the spice, but not too spicy. So I want to make a little bit spicy. When I make kimchi, that's what kind of pepper I use also. Not too strong. It's just mild. See? Okay. Ay, tapos na. Ayan na, oh. See? Tapos na siya. Super yummy, I promise. Sometimes if you want more fishy to it, then you can add some fish sauce. Me, I didn't have to do that today because it's already yummy. Okay. Oh my God, look at that. So good with your rice, guys. Masarap din ito pulutan. So yummy, okay? So that's done. Really turn off the heat. Now we're gonna move that to our plating. And also, I'm putting this in the container, guys. I need to be refrigerated after a day. Or before a day, because there's tomatoes. I usually put them in the jar. And then I just eat when I need to. It lasts a week at least. Because there's tomato in there, guys. You, I don't know if you can frozen. I usually, if this is gonna be gone anyway before five days. I'm gonna give some to my friend. Okay. Now we're gonna do the other one. Okay. Let me just put it. cook the other one now what we're gonna do is only dry ingredients because that's how I want it a lot of garlic three tablespoon of dry garlic fried garlic okay it lasts long because I don't put any tomato or anything like that so this one can last a month if you want if you don't eat that much <laughs> right and then I put some fried onions. Lots. Lots of fried onions. For this anchovy here. Our silver fish anchovy. Then I'm putting my seasoning. My seafood seasoning. And then the old spice. Chinese spice. If I could put this spoon, I would. Then, black pepper. Ayan. It's a bit spicy a little bit. Then, we put this guy, spice. I wanted a lot of spice on it. Okay. More peanut oil. Because you want it too. Just like. Gonna do is put that aside there, and then what we're gonna do is we put this. Look at that, mm, it's gonna be yummy. It's gonna be so yummy. This one can last longer, but I usually put it in the fridge. Some people they have they do business out of it, guys. All dry, I, dry ingredients I put. So, it lasts a really long time. You can put it in the jar and put it in the fridge and anytime you want it, then you can have some. Look at that guy. Smells so good as it is. So, because this one we put all dry ingredients, it lasts long as I always say. Look at that. It's gonna be really yummy in your tummy. No tomatoes. Even I want to, but the other one got tomatoes, so. The one that we made. This one, see? Ayan. Ito naman ngayon. I cook it one time like this because I don't want my house to smell, so it's only smell once. 
because you cook this so tomorrow the smell of the anchovy is gone be gone right so that's why you put a little bit more of uh, peanut oil because it will suck in through the dried fish so it would have sucked like it goes to the fish of course you don't have to stir and stir but i do so when it's, cool, it's only medium heat see that guys i only put medium heat but it cooks salad master pot is the same temperature in every corner of the pot so they can they can cook uh evenly Ayan. oh my god ang bango sarap na oh ayan Luto na yan. Madali lang itong maluto, guys. Especially in our salad master. But look at that. It's cooling me, but I'm waiting for the rice. And we also have some soup. And my talong later. It's good with talong. It's good with the uh, uh, pinak bit. It's gonna be good with everything, really. Dito, guys. Pag if they are already cooked like this, like this, guys. It's like this. They only give you a little bit of that and how much? Maybe $3.99 or $5 or so. But if you make it, because they are really expensive pound on this one, guys. So I buy me a package of $19. You know? This is it for $19 out there. The plain one, not a plain dry. They are expensive out there. Because I don't know. It's hard maybe to grow them. I'm not sure. Okay, this is pretty done. I can smell it also that it's done. But I want to make sure that it's thoroughly cooked, you know. I know it's already cooked because it's dried fish, but you never know. But I want it all cooked really nice. Yeah. Ayan na yung silver fish natin. Maliliit na isa. Okay, see you guys then. Look at that. Okay, I'm busy in the kitchen cooking. So we're going to make torta also next. Ayan, dry lang siya. Because that's how I want it. With garlic and onion. Fried garlic and fried onion, guys. So it lasts a really long time. But if you don't eat them every day, then it lasts a really long time. It depends how much you consume every day. <laughs> but this one, if I have rice, I have this. And I also have dried fish. I feel like I'm in the Philippines. That's what we made today. This is sauteed with garlic and onions, shallots, red onions. I mean, and this one is spicy, guys, with tomatoes and some spicy peppers. So it's less than 30 minutes. It's done. So we make that delicacy from home. Philippines. I feel like I'm in the Philippines. Okay? So it's always possible how you make your own dish, guys. Okay? And it's really yummy and you can fulfill your cravings. So, okay? Ayan na. Tapos na. Kawa na ako ng torta next. Okay? Let's show you guys. Resistant. I need to eat some. Most mm. not cravings, guys. Look at that. Silver fish satay. And ayan. And then more. And then we can have our coffee mocha. Oopsie. <laughs> that perfect that is. Now we're just waiting for our rice. I don't want anything else except this. We also have some fruits in the side later. I'm making. Look at that, guys. So, who's not cravings right now? I'm craving totally. That's why I make this. Unusual that I make three different kinds. This one, I fry that. We have some fried fish. I don't know what kind of fish it is, but my friend bring me from Philippines. So, that was really nice. And I have more later. Okay. So we're gonna have that. This one is a bit spicy. This one regular and this one is regular dried sauteed anchovies. And my yummy yummy coffee mocha. I call that coffee mocha because I put some sprinkle of chocolate. Mm. Okay. 
Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. Wala na akong hahanapin pa. With coffee. We having brunch. Ayan guys. Brunch. Okay. Ayan. I want with tomato. Yeah. But the rice is very hot still. Mmm, big bite. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Mahulog yung kamatis. Mmm. Mmm. Sarap. The best ever. Fulfill your cravings. This is the way. Mmm. My kids don't like this, but me, I love it. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Kain tayo. Let's eat. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon on our palaro. Okay, Gcash drawing giveaway. Thank you guys. And thank you so much for everything and for supporting me as always. And uh, have a blessed day. Bye. Please do like, share, and subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel yet. And thank you, Momo Mo.